Why you voted Trump hat in here? Tell uh, me about this Trump I, hat. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a die hard Trump supporter. Uh, in my household, uh, you got Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. you got Jesus, and you got Donald Trump. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Not in that particular order, but yeah, you got yeah, Martin Luther King, Jesus, and Donald Trump. Why you got Donald Trump? Now, you uh, know, well, I'm a straight Democrat, but I'm, I'm for the best person. Oh, uh, yes, but sir. But now, why you got Donald Trump? Uh, because I paid attention in school uh, when I was a kid, and so I know I know the I know the true history of, of both the Republican uh, and Democratic Party. Uh, I know that they really didn't switch during during the Nixon Southern strategy. That one became more clever than the other in dealing with black people. Uh, we the Democrats, we got away. We were the Republicans' friends. We were their friends, but we were the Democrats. Hmm. Uh, when you look at the 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 the, the, the the origins of the Ku Klux Klan, uh, it originated out of the Demo Democratic Party. The Ku Klux Klan? It did. Okay. Uh, uh, every, every civil rights legislation that ever has been passed in this country uh, was authored, uh, uh, written, uh, sponsored, and voted on 100% by Republicans and not Democrats. Every civil rights legislation. Well, what, what, what you going to do? So let me, let me feel the magic about Trump. Right. So, as a, so as a kid, I remember being six, seven years old, uh, and, and seeing Donald Trump re receiving a, a, an award with, 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 with Muhammad Ali, uh, Rosa Parks, mm. uh, from the NAACP. Uh, not only that, uh, he in, engaged and interacted in, in our culture from the 80s throughout the 90s and even the 2000s, from rappers to Michael Jackson. Uh, so when we looked out into our culture, his face appeared many, many times. Uh, so for me to grow up now and, and then hear the media, because before the media started saying he was racist, I never heard a black leader say it. I never heard my grandmother say it. I never heard no one even mention anything bad about him other than rappers giving him praise in over 300 to 600 rap songs. So for the media to say, oh, he's racist, I knew they were playing con on us. And I can remember when America was great. I can remember when black children could play outside all day long uh, and you didn't hear about kids being kidnapped. You didn't hear about drive-by shooting.